Good afternoon, campus teachers, principals, and assistant principals. In May, you will receive a link from Texas Tech University for a very important teacher incentive allotment evaluation survey. The survey is anonymous and TEA is seeking honest input from teachers, administrators, and human resource staff. The survey results will provide valuable input as we move forward with our local designation system. As you know, Longview ISD was one of the first districts approved in Cohort A. Please view this short three-minute guide to the Teacher Incentive Allotment. Welcome to the three-minute guide to the Teacher Incentive Allotment. The Teacher Incentive Allotment has the following goals for the teaching profession. First, to reward effective teaching. Second, to retain effective teachers in the classroom. Third, to recruit effective teachers into the profession. And finally, to ensure that our effective teachers are at the schools where they are needed the most. House Bill 3 established three levels of designations, recognize, exemplary, and master. Teachers can earn designations in two ways. The first is by obtaining a national board certification, which may qualify a teacher for a recognized designation. The second is through a school system's approved local designation system. Approved designation systems may designate teachers as recognized, exemplary, and master. These designations are valid for five years. Designations can generate annual allotment funding for the employing school system. Each designation starts with a base amount. For recognized, it is $3,000. For exemplary, it is $6,000. And for master, it is $12,000. The allotment funding increases depending on a campus's rural status and school socioeconomic need, with higher allotment funding generated at rural and high-needs campuses. For a teacher to earn a designation or generate allotment funding, they need to be employed as a teacher for at least a creditable year of service, which is at least full time for one semester or part time for a year, and also have an active standard or lifetime Texas teacher certification. The school system receives the generated allotment funding and is required to spend the funds meeting statute. Statute states that at least 90% must be used for compensation of teachers employed at the campus where the designated teacher works and up to 10% can be used for costs associated with supporting the local designation system or to support teachers in obtaining designations. If a teacher chooses to move to a new campus or district, the designation and the allotment will travel with the teacher to the new district. The allotment will be recalculated based on the new district's rural status and school socioeconomic need. Districts who want to be approved for a local teacher designation system will need to develop and implement a system based on teacher observation and student growth. The state's role will be to approve district systems based on their validity and reliability. Districts who are interested should follow this five-step process. The first step could take up to two years and is called system development and includes district planning, working with their stakeholders, and aligning their system to performance standards. When districts have completed this step, they may submit their application to TEA for review. Upon approval of their application, districts may begin their data capture year. This year represents the year that they are implementing their system and capturing the teacher observation and student growth data. This year also represents a district's cohort letter. For example, the first data capture year was 2018-2019 and re represents cohort A. After capturing their data, the next step is for the district to submit their data to Texas Tech University for data validation. TEA will then review the outcomes of the data validation and the application to determine final approval. If approved, district designations will be approved and they can begin to receive allotment funding. Thank you for listening. For additional questions or resources, please visit our website at www.tiatexas.org or send us an email at tia at tea.texas.gov. As mentioned in the video, there are two data components required by law to consider when making TIA designation recommendations. The t-test or teacher observation component and student growth. TEA has set guiding cut points to be used in both instances. However, since Longview ISD has been paying incentive pay since 2013, we were given a two-year grace period during which we are allowed to consider only the student growth component when recommending teachers for a designation. This matches our LIFT or Longview Incentive for Teachers qualification criteria, which allows us to mesh the two programs together, giving teachers excellent opportunities for bonus compensation. Longview ISD's local designation system involves three phases of implementation. 
Phase one has been successfully implemented. Teachers of grades four through EOC star tested subject areas were eligible for consideration for TIA designations based on student growth. Across our partner, our charter partner campuses, we currently have 52 teachers that have earned designations, receiving payouts totaling over $600,000. Additional designees will be revealed within the next week or two, increasing our total to close to 100. Phase two begins with the current 2020-21 school year and beyond. Teachers in kindergarten through grade three will become eligible for designations based on both student growth in reading and math, utilizing the Iowa assessment coupled with teacher observation or t-test data. Teachers in grades four through the EOC remain eligible for TIA designations based on student growth with the addition of the teacher observation data component. Once earned, TIA designations are placed on the individual's teaching certificate and are valid for a five-year period. During the five-year period, teachers annually have, have the opportunity to earn a higher designation but cannot move down. Elective teachers outside of tested areas may automatically earn a recognized TIA designation by achieving National Board Certification. Longview ISD annually sponsors a cohort of up to 20 individuals working toward National Board Certification and preference is given to non-tested elective area teachers. All of this and additional information may be found on the district website at w3.lisd.org. Click on the district tab, followed by the teacher incentive allotment. I hope you found this presentation informative and I urge you to complete the TIA survey that will be coming soon. Questions may be emailed to Chief Human Resource Officer John York at jyork at lisd.org. That's jyork at lisd.org or you may call my extension at 2291 in the HR department. Thank you.